there are a number of different treatments that have been tried for chronic graft-versus-host disease. Because we know chronic GVH is a coordinated uh, T cell and B cell response, uh, in most cases we've been trying to target either T cells or B cells. There's been a recently approved drug, abrutinib, which does target B cells in chronic graft-versus-host disease. But there's another entirely uh, different class of cells that we are trying to uh, capitalize on, and that's regulatory T cells, so-called T regs. Uh, approximately 10 years ago, we and others were able to demonstrate that the number of regulatory T cells is reduced in patients with chronic graft-versus-host disease. And Many of the drugs that have been developed to try to treat chronic graft versus host disease have tried to enhance the number or function of these regulatory T cells. Specifically, uh, we've been looking at a, a drug called interleukin-2. Uh, interleukin-2 is a cytokine that we produce in our, in our body and can be produced recombinantly. It has been used in the past for uh, treatment of renal cell carcinoma and uh, uh, metastatic melanoma. But in fact, it has, at very low doses, a very different effect than it does at high doses used in those other diseases. At very low doses, interleukin-2 can expand the number of regulatory T cells and increase their suppressive function. And as such, about a, close to a decade ago, we began studies in patients with chronic graft versus host disease who were deficient in these regulatory T cells. We gave low doses of interleukin-2 to these patients and were able to demonstrate that IL-2 could expand uh, Treg. Now Treg uh, deficiency is seen not only in chronic graft versus host disease, it's seen in a number of autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, uh, and other related disorders. So uh, chronic graft versus host disease, which has a lot of similarities to these diseases, it makes uh, a sense that uh, interleukin-2 might be active in those diseases as well.